With the pandemic putting a damper on our travel plans for the season, we turned our attention this summer to some objectives closer to home. The health guidelines at the time allowed for travel within the province. So we decided to head to the Rocky Mountains on British Columbia's eastern border. The Canadian Rockies run along the border between BC and neighboring Alberta. Much of the mountain range is protected by national and provincial parks, seven of which have been declared a single UNESCO World Heritage Site for their unique landscapes. And while the Alps provide a completely different level of culture and old world charm, the Rockies remain much more untamed. We spent a couple of days exploring some shorter routes. It is Friday afternoon, and we're just gonna do a quick little out and back here to Jade Lake. But our main objective would be the Rockwall Trail, located in Kootenai National Park. It's part of the Great Divide Trail, which is a collection of trails and roads running 1130 kilometers along the divide between BC and Alberta. The Rockwall Trail itself is about 56 kilometers long and follows the base of a massive limestone cliff wall for which it's named. And while it's possible to run the trail in a single day, we decided instead to fast pack the route over two days, starting from Flow Lake at the south end of the trail and camping around the halfway point at Tumbling Creek. On our second day, we'd continue on making a stop at Helmet Falls before running out to our car at Paint Pots Trailhead. With the trail being a point-to-point, -point, logistics can be a challenge. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, got the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> but lucky for us, a friend was in the area who offered to drive us from where we dropped off our car back to the start of the trail. Okay, hey. thanks man. All right, see okay, you guys. see ya. Have fun. Alright, so where are we going today? We are at Flow Lake Trailhead and today we want to go to Tumbling Creek Campground, so we got about 28k to go. Okay. The trail is typically hiked southbound in three to five days. It's thought to be easier to start with the more gradual ascent from the north, but as runners, we thought it would be better to tackle the steeper climb from the south end of the trail first, making our exit tomorrow at the north end a much more runnable and enjoyable descent.
We're about uh, three hours in. We've covered 12 kilometers uh, with about a thousand meters of climbing. Now we're just taking our time, going at a fairly leisurely pace and taking lots of photos. We got really lucky with the weather this weekend. It's a beautiful day today. Rockwall Trail climbs over three mountain passes, starting from the south with Numa Pass, which is the highest. We stop for lunch at Numa Creek, one of five designated campsites along the way, all of which require a reservation in advance to spend the night. So one thing about traveling in the Rockies is you have to be really careful of grizzly bears. Um, always carry bear spray, keep it accessible, and of course know how to use it. Keeping bear spray up front like this makes me a little bit nervous, so close to my face. Generally I'd keep it on the side of my pack. We've been carrying it on uh, the side of Audrey's pack for the most part where I could uh, very easily grab it from her, but uh, ideally we would have both had our own bear spray and both had them easily accessible. The story of the Rockwall Trail begins in 1923, when a guide named Walter Nixon took a group up Tumbling Pass by horseback. The consensus was that it had been the most scenic alpine ride they'd ever done, and an organization was formed the following year to give more riders the opportunity to explore the area. It continued to grow in popularity as more trails were established up the various creek drainages leading to the rock wall. But it would remain primarily the playground of horseback riders for four more decades until 1969, when the rock wall trail was included in the plan for the Great Divide Trail.
Okay, so we just finished our last climb of the day up and through Tumbling Pass, and we are now making the descent down to Tumbling Creek. We arrived at our campsite at Tumbling Creek late afternoon with lots of time to set up camp and relax before getting up to do it all again the next day. So here we are in day two, it's about 9.30, we just left camp. And you know, I, th I think this is the pace to do these things at. We rolled into camp last night well before dinner time, had the whole evening to relax. Whereas normally, you know, like last weekend, Adam and I were pushing 13 hour days, covering 65K back to back. Um, and it becomes more of a physical pursuit. Whereas, you know, at this pace, it's a bit more like a, a running vacation. So I might think about adjusting some of my goals in the future, because this is pretty nice too. Looking to the rising sun, this is where we go. Helmet Falls is one of the highest waterfalls in the Canadian Rockies, plunging more than 350 meters over a cliff into Helmet Creek below. After hiking up to the falls, we stopped for lunch at the campground before beginning the 16-kilometer descent along the Ochre Creek Trail down to our car.
So that was search and rescue, picking up a woman who apparently had a stroke here near Helmet Falls. Um, but another group fortunately had an inreach and were able to call for help. And I'm told that search and rescue were here within under an hour, which is great. It sounded like she was doing okay, but uh, obviously they'll be taking her directly to hospital. And I think she's quite lucky. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure Oh my god, it moves too <laughs> They settled down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson The north end of the trail passes through Paint Pots, a unique area of natural ponds formed by the accumulation of iron oxide, which bubbles up from the mineral springs below. We got nothing to be scared of. I'd rather be with you than by myself. Now always in your head. We were back at our car after about seven and a half hours on feet, having covered 29 kilometers for a two-day total of just under 60 kilometers, including some mountain backs. When I was young, I to... On our way home, we stopped to explore some of the nearby sites and managed to squeeze in one last mountain adventure. And then somehow get on the summit. The only thing that was for me and I saw the angels coming down And they sang a song and sang you loud And I still remember parts of it And the yellow glory as we live Won't you be my guide and let me follow Can I hold your hand for all time's sake No views from the summit this time, but hey, gives us a reason to come back. Now all is in our hands. 